Hey guys, here's a quick guide to defeating Renella using a little cheese. This boss battle generally isn't too difficult, but she does have some spells that do massive damage, and in the first phase, you really gotta keep an eye out for falling books and chandeliers. Visually, I think this is one of the coolest boss fights, but today we're going to be demolishing poor Renella in just a couple minutes and with great ease. The first phase of this fight is going to be a little reminiscent from Dark Souls 3. You basically just have to run around attacking the lit up little creepers until her shield drops and she plummets to the ground. Once down, just head on over and begin inflicting massive damage. Keep an eye out for falling chandeliers, flying books, and fire from her minions. You can use the audio to help find the lit up minions since they'll be singing. The second phase does get a little more tricky. She teleports to a moonlit plane and starts unleashing some massive spells. Lucky for us though, is that she flinches very easily. So what we're going to do is summon our marionette archers. They shoot very quickly and will keep her in a state of near constant stagger. You should have picked up the marionette archers earlier in the dungeon. If anyone missed them, I can always do another video of their location. Just let me know. Feel free to summon your archers in phase 1 but they don't really do anything until the second phase. With the help of the archers, this is basically the easiest boss battle in any Souls game, and I'm sure you're going to make quick work of her. If one of the archers dies, it doesn't really matter, just continue the strategy as normal. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you next time.